So I'm gonna teach you guys how to color the way I color. Now if you want to practice just coloring and you want to use this drawing to practice, feel free to screenshot this image and then convert brightness to opacity and then boom, the image is transparent. Guys, with great power comes great responsibility. Use that tip for the greater good. So going back, you can literally do this on any art style. We're gonna color the juicy skin, but this is still applicable to anything. Now you can color anything with this ancient Chinese coloring method. Just kidding, I literally made this up. Anyway, first off, we're gonna start with the sketch. It doesn't matter if you have a rough sketch or a super detailed line art, what's important is that you understand what's going on with your sketch. Anyway, we're gonna put a bunch of flat colors. These are called the base colors. So there are multiple ways to spice up your colors. It really just depends on what mood you want your drawing to have. For example, if I wanted to have some sort of sunny, warm vibes, I would use like the colors which are way above here and use orange, yellow, or red, something like that. But that's only theoretical. I don't do that. I like making my drawings dark and gloomy because I'm emo. So here's what it would look like if I were to go for the sunny vibes. My color for the skin would probably be like this light orangish color and the blush is also like super saturated. Overall it looks pure and romantic. I hate it. Now compare that to the sexy vampire color palette. Hell yeah. So what's the main difference here? Well, first off, let's look at the color wheel here. So there's this thing called the color wheel, which is this circle right here. And inside of that circle, there's a box. So basically when you go up and down, that's the value. And when you go from left to right, that's the saturation. So this is hue, saturation, and value. We also have this fancy checker thing, which is basically transparent. Just a quick tip, if you want to use your brush as an eraser, you could just click the fancy checkered box and use your brush to erase. Dang. So the difference between the two is that the sexy vampire skin color is a bit less saturated and a lot darker. Anyway, feel free to mess with the color wheel, but you know guys, there's a shortcut to everything. You could literally just use blending modes to just set the mood for your drawings. They're located right here, just feel free to mess with it. For example, if I want the drawing to have sort of dark neon vibes, I could just use the multiply mode and then use the paint bucket tool to add a dash of blue to the painting. And then I could use the add glue effect to add a bunch of lights. Okay, this is like really crappily done, but you guys get the point. Anyway, our next step is to shade. I usually just shade on the same layer, but if you want, you could create a layer on top of the base layer and then click clip to layer below. And then it's basically just gonna let you draw only on the parts that have already been drawn on. If that's confusing, just watch what I'm doing right now. So I'm 99% sure that this is available for every drawing program except MS Paint. So if you're drawing on MS Paint, I feel bad for you, I'm so sorry. Anyway, what we're gonna do is to move the hue just a little bit and then select a darker color. When you're selecting colors for shading, always make sure to do that because you want to make your drawing vibrant and juicy. If you just straight up select a darker color without sliding that color wheel, your drawing is gonna suck. Anyway, for shading the skin, I basically just start with an airbrush first and airbrush a warm-ish shade around the eyes and the nose and mouth. I'm basically just going darker and darker. I also like shading the under eyes. These aren't eye bags, okay? They're the under eyes. That's different. And shading them helps to make the eyes look bigger. After that, I use a lighter color to just add a shadow. So I'm imagining that the light source is somewhere in here. So my shadows are obviously gonna be in here. But honestly, for shading, I usually just rely on my references. Unless you're like an art god, you shouldn't rely on your imagination too much to shade stuff. Trust me here, keep using references. Use Pinterest, there are so many hot guys on Pinterest, I swear. Oh gee, I hope the FBI isn't watching me looking up some real embarrassing stuff. 
Well, that wouldn't be a problem if you were using Surfshark. Surfshark is an app and browser extension that protects your data from hackers and lets you stay anonymous online. Now, unfortunately, I live in the Philippines. And as if it couldn't get any worse, living in the Philippines means I can't watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on Netflix. But luckily, with Surfshark, I could switch to another country server, like the US, with just one click and gain access to every show available in whichever country I pick. I could watch Ninja Turtles, Miraculous Ladybug, and all the other stuff that isn't available in my country. Thanks to Surfshark, you could virtually travel to almost all countries, except maybe North Korea. So Surfshark has a smegzy 30-day money-back guarantee policy. So if you want to try it out, check the description and use the code COOL to get an 83% discount plus 3 extra months for free. Anyway, for blending, basically, I just use my number one baby brush. This is the brush that I use for sketching and shading, stuff like that. It's in the description. Stop asking me about it. Okay, and then I always make sure to just use an airbrush right after blending to make it smooth. I just always make sure to do that because I want my drawing to look sexy. Alright, so I'm just gonna add details to make the neck thick. You know, add a bunch of shadows here and there. And the eyes as well. As for the eyes, I don't make the white part completely white. It's more of a light pink gray shade so that it's uber sexy. As for the lips, I'm just selecting a dark red color. Ladies and gentlemen, I do not discriminate against men and women. They all need to have sexy lips. And obviously, sexy lips need to be juicy. Which is why our final step is to put highlights. So after we're done with the blending and such, I usually like make a layer on top of all the layers and then I just basically add some more definition. You could add some more definition by adding like this slightly lighter color above the lips, which is also called the cupid's bow. This is gonna give your lips some juicy definition and obviously some highlights on the lips. Or maybe you could add a highlight on the nose and maybe in the inner corners of the eyes. Believe me when I tell you guys that highlights either make or break your drawing. Adding highlights is either gonna make your drawing a lot more juicy or it could potentially ruin your drawing. Just don't add too much and you'll be fine. Just add an okay amount of juiciness. Also, like, make sure to add some highlights to the eyes because if you don't, your character will look dead. So I'm not really gonna define the hair because I be lazy like that. You guys got the point. However, here's a quick recap, okay? First, do the sketch, add the base colors, and then add some shading. Don't forget to slide the hue wheel. Then add some juicy definitions and then the highlights. I also like use the liquify tool to correct some deformities. Anyway, if you enjoy this vid, like and subscribe. Watch this video next if you want to take your drawing to the next level. And I'll see you there. Stay cool.